Un Lun Wuang was born in mainland China into a musical family. His father, a music professor, was the founder of the Central Conservatory of Music, and his mother was a music teacher. I started my uh, music training when I was five years old, forced to practice piano. So I was hate, I hate music. <laughs> but finally, I found music beautiful. I was sent to the countryside, and all the school stopped doing a cultural revolution for 10 years. They put my father in a jail for three years. They said he must be a spy. Despite this, An Lun was able to educate himself and was eventually appointed resident composer and assistant conductor at the Central Opera House of China. John Fraser and his wife, Elizabeth McCollum, met An Lun Huang in Beijing. It was at the end of the Cultural Revolution where the culture had been so stratified and controlled. And we were on the lookout the whole time for signs of a thaw. And we went to see a ballet performed uh, by some of the leading companies, uh, one of the leading companies in Beijing. And um, it was based on the Hans Christian Andersen tale, The Little Match Girl. And the music was by one Huang Anlun. We loved the ballet so much, uh, loved what it represented in terms of a breakthrough. Um, that we requested through the, formally through the Information Department of the Foreign Ministry to meet some of the people responsible. It would become the first time a news correspondent would meet above board with a Chinese citizen in the 25-year history of the Bureau. I'll never forget the day when he first came to our apartment. Um, it was historic. It was historic. It was quite moving. And uh, he took, showed a lot of courage in, in uh, pushing the envelope there a bit. In 1980, John helped An Lun to come to Canada to study music at the University of Toronto. An Lun left his wife and son behind in China and lived with John's family for three years. He was a star back in China. And he came, and he was 30 years old about when he came, and he was nobody. He couldn't speak the language, he had to learn the subway, just like any immigrant, like any refugee, really, and come into a totally different system. And so it was, it was very hard for him. Um, so, I, you know, I'm sure it was nice for him to be able to live with us, but it was also very nice for us to have him. An Lun completed his master's degree at Yale University in 1986. His wife, Ray Lee, a talented pianist, was hired by the National Ballet, making it possible for An Lun to return to Canada as a landed immigrant. It was a wonderful thing to see them breathe in Canada, breathe in both the freedom and the opportunity. I thought I will stay here and uh, work a few years, then I will go back to China. Because I'm still holding uh, my position in the Central Opera House. But unfortunately, fortunately, the second Tiananmen massacre occurred. I was so sad and so disappointed. I already wasted 10 years during the Cultural Revolution. So I think I better stay in Canada forever. I've always uh, loved Chinese people. My heart always theirs. But Canada is my life. Alan is very honest. OK, he doesn't follow that. He follow his heart. OK, so he composed what he really hear from his heart, from his soul. A lot of things happened in China, okay, we, yeah, the, the last 30, 40 years, okay, but not too many people dare to write in music. And he's the one who dared to write the music to uh, witness the history. That's what I love, part of what I like him. Described as one of the most important composers of our time, an Lun's music has been performed around the world. An Lun has composed 20 symphonic works, 11 operatic productions, three ballets, and numerous choral, chamber, film, and TV series music. His oratorios, Easter Cantata, Psalm 22, and Revelation, are considered the largest and most significant works in Canada. The Lincoln Center in New York has invited An Lun to conduct his composition, Revelation, for the upcoming September 11th memorial a great honor for a Canadian composer. His ballet, Dream of Dunhuang, has been selected as a masterpiece of Chinese composition in the 20th century. 
Un Lun is one of the founders of the Canadian Chinese Music Society of Ontario. I think um, getting this award will mean a great deal to him. He's triumphed over all sorts of all sorts of adversities, but also it's a recognition that he's used his his God-given talent to his utmost, his personal utmost, and and in recognizing that, it will be deeply satisfying. Our job will be to keep after this.